Hello, first grade, Miss Colab here, and today I'm going to be reading aloud No David by David Shannon. This week's skill is inferencing. Inferencing is when we decide what the author is trying to tell us with pictures and what we know in our heads to tell us what's going on in the story. So listen now and see if you can infer what will happen. No David by David Shannon. David's mom always said, no, David. No, David. If I stop here, I can infer that if David is reaching for that cookie jar, he might slip and fall and hurt himself. And he might also knock that cookie jar down and then cookies would go everywhere. No, David, no. No, no, no. Come back here, David. David, be quiet. Don't play with your food. That's enough, David. Go to your room. If I stop here, I can infer that David is very mad by the look on his face. Settle down. Stop that this instant. Put your toys away. Not in the house, David. So if I stop here, I can infer that if David hits the ball in the house, something will probably get broken. I said no, David. And I think that David did hit the ball because the ball, I can infer that because the ball is on the floor and the vase is broken. And I can infer David is sad because he has a tear in his eye. Davy, come here. Yes, David, I love you. So that was No David. Now, if we look at our organizer for this week's module, it says day one comprehension, making inferences, home challenge. So we listen to the story of No David, and we want you to try this strategy yourself. The author does not use many words in the story. We have to use the pictures and what we already know to make inferences about what is happening in the story and why. So the first one says, when David grabbed the cookies, and then we have to infer. I can infer his mom put them up high so he didn't eat all of them. And that was a different inference than what I came up with. The second one says, when David played in the tub, and then we have to infer, I can infer that maybe he flooded the house. So let's do one more together. When David banged on the pan, what do you infer? Well, I infer that he made too much noise and it hurt his mom's ears. So why don't you try the rest of this on your own this week? when you're talking and learning more about inferencing. So I hope you liked Know David and you will work hard on your module this week. We miss you and please stay safe.
Bye.